AI. Uh, it's, a, it's a very much, as you mentioned, kind of mo modeling a warehouse, taking months even yeah. to answer a question, and you kind of don't touch that model once you've got it. So yeah. when you go into customer situations, uh, what's the mindset that you typically find? Do you have to do a lot of evangelizing, education to get, get people to understand this, or? You do, I mean, that's a real challenge for us because there is a certain mindset around mm -hmm. it. But on the other hand, I think people get tired of the existing infrastructures and the existing paradigms. And one trick that we've learned is if you can go into an organization and demonstrate value quickly, mm -hmm. uh, just go after a small problem, right? We've been doing a lot of work closely with the uh, data scientist team at EMC Greenplum. Mm -hmm. And one of the things they've gotten really good at is just going into a customer as a part of a pre-sales activity or an early engagement, maybe they've just gotten the infrastructure, the you know, Hadoop or the Greenplum database up and running, and go in and say, okay, let's, let's, let's do something, right? Let's prove value quickly, right? So maybe we've got a long-term project to move all our reports over to, to the new infrastructure, but let's just go and answer a business problem now. What's the most pressing thing, right? It's like, are we getting maximum value out of our customers? How do we increase customer lifetime value? Mm -hmm. um, that's a very straightforward question to ask. It should be fairly straightforward to get insights into that. And so that's, I think, the way that you can begin to change people's minds a bit. Just go after one simple problem. Like a quick win, quick kind of win, then yeah. the, that the light bulb kind of goes off and they that's see the right. power yeah, uh, of right. what predictive that's analytics right. can do. Um, and another thing that we've done also is that we've targeted not necessarily the traditional data scientist, um, who maybe is going to be a little bit more wed to an existing infrastructure, an existing set of tools. Mm -hmm. um, plus, frankly, for us, that's a fairly small audience, right? I mean, everybody's complaining about the fact they can't get their hands on data scientists. Right. So why not enable, again, what we call the aspirational data scientist, somebody who's maybe a, a, a business analyst. They know the data, right? They know uh, some basic stats, maybe. They've probably done a course, or they've been doing a night class in this because they realize that's the way the world is going. And so give them a tool that allows them to do that um, more easily. Again, without all the, um, the encumbrances of having to move the data around without right. a sort of complicated coding framework. Right. WYSIWYG, where your data right. is, you know? Kind of uh, abstract away the complexity. That's right. Uh, and this is, you know, we've talked a lot about the, the dearth of data scientists, and I think you need to attack it from both sides. You need more training, but you also need to make the tools easier to, to use to lower absolutely. the barrier to entry. That's and it sounds right. like that's, that's right. Uh, yeah. right where you're playing. Yeah, so absolutely. what's the go to market with, uh, with your product and with Greenplum? Um, a number of initiatives. Um, uh, one big one that we're working on right now is to make sure that the, the Greenplum sales force and the data science team um, is uh, demonstrating a lot of that early value with the Alpine uh, application. And so that's one of the reasons why, for example, uh, we've integrated with the Chorus product, because Chorus is a really great way of building the, uh, bringing the entire organization together uh, to develop on sources of big data in a collaborative environment. And what Alpine can do, can bring, almost as think of it as sort of a plug-in, bring within that environment the ability to do predictive analytics. And so it's important for us to be able to integrate closely, not just with the sources of data, but these new environments that Green Plum is building around those. So that's part of the go-to-market strategy, is sort of really making sure that Green Plum understands not only selling the, the infrastructure and the data, but also the value and the insights that can be brought out on top of that as well. Can I buy it as a service? Uh, you know, that's interesting. Not right now, no. So you can certainly engage. Because I want it. Yeah. <laughs> so but I don't want to put in the infrastructure. Yeah, I, mean, that's I, right. I have an application that I actually want to use it for. So that's absolutely part of our product roadmap right now. There's sort of an, a number of core things. Um, you know, right now we focused a lot on the databases, but obviously uh, Hadoop solutions. So we already have uh, an early Hadoop prototype that we're working on with some of our close customers. Um, expanding the number of databases that we support is, is key making the, constantly refining the thing, making it easier and easier, broadening the outreach. Um, and then absolutely considering a cloud-based solution. So later on this year, we're actually going to have the ability Great. to upload your data and start doing analytics uh, with us, directly in the cloud. So the simplest uh, level, you can basically point to any corpus of data and extract value out of that. That's right. right. That's what yeah. you guys do. Yeah. That's right. I definitely have an application that I'm, I'm, I'm work, we're working on and, and we could maybe use you guys, so I'm going to talk to you offline. But okay, uh, oh, we'll hire you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. All right, Steve, uh, that was great. I okay, really great. Uh, appreciate the insights. You going to the Data Scientist Summit? Are you going to you going to be there? Yeah, I'm super excited about there? it. Yeah, I'm going to be speaking tonight at the opening session, and I'm going to be interviewing a, a really cool team of really prominent data scientists and people involved in this community about like how do you build that dream team of data scientists. So that's mm -hmm. going to be a really fun discussion. Oh, wow, it's outstanding. Yeah, that's yeah, right. good. So, so we've had we've had several on here today. Jeff's interviewed some, and as have I. And yeah. so. Uh, 
Well, congratulations on, no, uh, on the company and where yeah. you're at. Very yeah. exciting space. It is great. You're yeah. really at the heart of it. Steve, yeah. Hayden, thanks very yeah, much thanks for coming for on questions. the Yeah, thanks for your questions. Pleasure to And uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, keep it right there. We'll be right back. SiliconANGLE.TV's continuous coverage live from EMC World 2010. Be right back.